Zero accounting software tutorial, how to use Zero. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys step by step how you can get started with the Zero accounting software. So let's get into it. Now, Zero is a simple to use accounting tool that can help you in getting started with fulfilling all of your basic needs. Plus, Zero offers a free trial and then their plans start at only $29 per month. This includes the ability to send bills, invoices, and codes. You can also capture bills and receipts with HubDoc, as well as manage your cash flow and business snapshots. Now, if you want to upgrade and add more features, you can always upgrade to their standard and premium plans starting at $49 per month. Now, to get started with Zero for free, simply click on Try Zero for free on the top right. Once you do that, you're going to put in your first name and your last name. And then after that, you will have to put in your phone number and location. We're just going to complete that. So now we have completed our sign up on Zero. Once you have completed your basic information, you can get started with adding your business information. So our business name is Sir Dan, and we are in a retail. And we're just going to select it from over here. Then you're going to add the last day of your financial year. Now, for some companies and businesses, that happens in July. For some, it might happen in another month. You can choose whichever one applies to you. And if you have any employees, let's say I do have employees and I am not using any tool. And then I can just click on start trial to start my 30 day free trial on zero. So we're just going to complete our basic information and then get right into our dashboard. Now we have started our trial and our dashboard is going to look like this when you're setting it up for the first time. On the top left, you have your business information. You will have the business information, including file settings and your current subscription. Then you will have a toolbar. And in this toolbar, you have your dashboard, business, accounting, projects, and contacts. On the top right, you have a quick access button that allows you to create new invoices, bills, or any new item directly from here. Then on the top right, you have this option over here where it recommends a few apps to you. And if you want to integrate any application, you can do that from over here and then your basic account info. Now to get started with any accounting tool, one of the most pivotal things is to add the related businesses, the suppliers, the people that you are working with. So you can go ahead and go into the businesses section. Now, in your businesses section, you have a few different tools. You have your basic business snapshot tools, then your invoicing tools. You have your bill tools as well as claims pay run tools. Then you have your accounting tools such as your bank accounts, reports, and advanced accounting analytics. Then you have your projects and contacts. So usually I like to break it down to contacts. Then I like to add the relevant projects. So I'm going to click on suppliers and in your contacts, you have two types of contacts, your suppliers or customers. So we're going to build our first contact name. Let's say it's Alyssa and the account number is 002. And then the primary person is Alyssa Morrison like this. Let's say that the contact name is Alyssa Fungies like this. And then after that, I can add their email address. So I'll just add that over here. Then you can add additional people because the contact is usually a business. You might have more than one person that you are in contact with and you can put in the primary person. But after that, you can also add secondary people that might be relevant to your business dealings. Then you can add their business registration number, website, as well as any notes that you might want to keep. After that, you have some financial details as well as sales default and purchase default. So let's say in terms of sales default, 200 sales, and let's say we have two invoice due dates, two of the following month, or let's say their sales are 10 days after the invoice date, and then the amounts are tax inclusive, and I want to be tax on sales. And then you can also add a credit limit amount. After that, you have the purchase default. So this can be overridden on individuals that spend money. And you can always set those as well. But I'm just going to click on save and close. 
And this way you can add your business contacts. Now, this is a person that I'm in business with. If this is a retail business, it's very likely that I also have my own customers. So I can go into the customer section and start adding customers in that way as well. You can also sync up your pre-existing lists if you do already have those. You can click on the top right over here, click on import, and then start importing files that you might already have. Now let's move on to the next section, which is projects. So you can click on all projects over here. Usually people are using project management tools, but if you have a simple business that does not require a project management tool, managing the basics of your business can be done over here as well. So you can click on new project and let's say this is going to be a in progress project and then I can add the relevant contact let's say this is going to be with the Alyssa Scrunchies business I want to expansion with hair bows and then let's say the project date ends at the 27th and I want to calculate from tasks and estimated expenses I don't want to do that and then who can view the project I want to keep it public right now which means that anyone in our particular accounting tool will be able to see it now once we've done that this will open up this particular project it will have the tasks expenses time codes and invoices then you also have the profitability so what we're going to do is we can click on add and then you can add tasks time entries estimated expenses expenses and expenses from a bill you can also add codes over here as well as invoices this is great to make sure that your entire team is on board and is scheduled in a right way to accomplish your relevant projects and to be able to determine whether or not they are even feasible for your particular business now if i want to start managing you know my employees that are working on this business i can just click on add i can add a task and let's say this is going to be cut out for both like this so it's going to take 10 hours and the hourly rate is 30 dollars and then i'm just going to add that over here now this is a task that they might need to complete or you can also add particular tasks that are going to be you know they're not going to be timed tasks you can add those as well but you can go on ahead and start managing your project like this as well now after that you can go into accounting and start linking your bank account to make it easier for you to sync up your finances and get advanced reports and analytics after that you have your basic business management tools now these tools are going to derive data from all of your pre-existing information so everything you put in projects contacts and accounting you're going to be able to see different kinds of analytical views in the business section you can also make your invoices by going into invoices and click on new invoice to send invoices and you can even run payroll and make sure to pay your employees set out your products and services that you are offering in Xero as well so I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.